All right, welcome to part two of word form and reading decimals to the thousandths place. So we're going to do eight more here to hopefully get this down so we are very confident with reading and writing decimals to the thousandths. Um, and hopefully you check out part one. If you didn't check out part one, check out part one first and then come here to part two. So we have eight more we're going to do. And after these eight will be our mastery check video where you will do 10 on your own and see how many you get out of 10 to see if you have it down. So here are your options. Uh, I highly suggest writing these along with me, whether it's paper, um, a mini whiteboard or whatever, write these with me. Even if you don't know what you're doing and you're just copying down what I'm writing, that's fine. Or if you want to go a little ahead of me and try some on your own and then check with me, that would be fine because your goal is going to be to do these without this place value chart up here on the mastery video, the mastery check video, that's gone, um, and your hint is gone, so have this down on your own. So do what you need to do. So let's start with number one. And remember, first name as is, last name where it ends. So we don't have any holes, so we don't need to mention that. Read the number as is, nine. All right, last name wherever it ends, and it ends in the tenths, hundredths, ends in the hundredths. So here we go. Nine hundredths, done with that one. Let's check out number two. Do we have any holes? Nope. So read as is, one hundred, nine and then think about what its last name would be where does it end the last place value spot hopefully you said tens hundreds thousandths so 109 thousandths all right number three as is 70 eight and think about its last name where does it end hopefully you said hundredths 78 hundredths and then our last one on this side with no whole numbers no holes so read as is I know it has a zero in front but it's still a 14 and it ends in the thousandths. So there we go. Those are uh, four for four, hopefully. Let's check number five here. We do have a whole number, so just write the whole number as is, and that is an eight. And does anyone remember what important word we put in for this decimal here in our word form? Hopefully you're thinking of and and represents a decimal. Now we're going to the right of the decimal, as is here, two, and it ends in the tenths. So eight and two tenths. Always read it back to yourself after you write out in word form to make sure you have it. Make sure it makes sense. Read it back to yourself. Don't rush through these. Make sure you have them. All right, number six, the whole. 24 and as is 3 and that ends in the hundredths. Read it back 24 and 3 hundredths. Alright, next whole number 9 decimal and read as is here 234 this is a long one and it ends in the thousandths all 
All right, let's do the last one. Read the whole number. 250. And as is, 9 tenths. Let's read it back and check. 250 and 9 tenths. We got it. Okay, so that was part two of word form slash reading decimals to the thousandths. Hopefully, you're ready for our mastery check now which I will put in the description. It'll be 10 decimals where you write out word form and say them back to yourself. And I'll give you a goal score and you'll see if you hit it. Okay, so see you over on the Mastery Check video.